season as the head coach as we kick things off tonight in the 125 pound weight class Andrew Long of Iowa State a freshman the 2010 Big 12 runner-up going head to head with Matt McDonough the freshman from Iowa Andrew Long from Creston, Iowa, four and five versus top 10 this season. And remember folks, he is a freshman performing on this sport's biggest stage. Same can be said for Matt McDonough in the 125 class. For Marion as we are set to go in Omaha, seven minutes to glory. These two guys, they're freshmen, both redshirt freshmen. They've wrestled three times this year, all close matches, all McDonough, but they're as mature a freshman as I've seen in a long time. And, and what a compliment that there's such young athletes entering college with such great skills. It boasts great high school programs, and it shows up with two freshmen here in this finals. McDonough likes to use a left leg attack, as does Andrew Long. He's very good at a reshot. You can follow along the scoring. Andrew Long of Iowa State has the red ankle bands. Matt McDonough of Iowa has the green ankle bands. Long from Iowa State, neutral, guys, red. Neutral, McDonough, neutral, neutral. Iowa, green. This is how Long likes to wrestle. He comes out fast. He's had a lead in every one of the three matches they've wrestled prior to this. The dual meet early. They, they went to overtime in the Midlands. McDonough won nine to eight in the national duels. Coming from behind every time, and it's because early on, Long faded and McDonough didn't. But it's a new day, and Long has gotten his weight under control, and I expect Long to be able to go all the way with him this time. One match for the national championship. Seven minutes to glory. Andrew Long, the freshman from Iowa State. Matt McDonough, the freshman from Iowa. Thus far, Long being the aggressor, moving forward, trying to gain holds. Jeff, you mentioned they were both from good high schools, both from Iowa high schools, Long from Creston, Iowa, McDonough from Linmar High School in Marion, Iowa, a teammate of Jay Borschel. He was a freshman when Jay Borschel was a senior. Neutral! 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 What a great sprawl by McDonough. Long had his leg, but McDonough able to use a whizzer, rip the arm up, and sprawl away. Andrew Long continues to attack. He has the single now. Can he convert it to a takedown? And that was a reshot off of McDonough. McDonough dropping down to Long's neutral. ankle now. Look for him to lift it. Neutral! 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 Now Long might have neutral. some opportunity here. He needs to try to. Oh, no, that's not going to happen now. McDonough ducking under his leg. Good hip action by Long there. Boy, this is a clinic in how to sprawl by both of them. What great action. There's not a doubt in either of these wrestlers' minds that they're the one that's supposed to win either. They are so confident for freshmen. Final five seconds here in period number one. And it will end scoreless. Well, there is the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championship Tournament format. Ten weight classes, three periods each. We go three minutes, then two and two. Team points awarded to the winners. But as we've mentioned, he'll move, he'll Iowa has already secured their third straight national title. But for Tom Brands and his program at Iowa, winning the team title doesn't mean anything unless you take them from national individual titles. And there is a one-point escape for Andrew Long of Iowa State. Long did a really good job of not just getting hand control, but his elbows in tight and uh, came up fast for the escape. They were in this position yeah, before, and yeah, the referee breaks it quickly. McDonough using a wizard to counter that down. Two true freshmen going at it. There's Tom Brands, the head man from Iowa, already wrapping up the team championship. He's got five athletes in tonight's competition. And the booing you hear comes primarily from those clad in yellow and black. This arena holds about 16,000, and I can say about 7,000 to 8,000 of them are Iowa fans. 
In our previous matches, every time there's a critical point that comes in the second period, and it's usually McDonough that has gotten the job done in the match. Around the end of the second period, McDonough gets in, and he just did again. Matt McDonough, the two-point takedown, so he takes the lead as we go let's under go, a minute here in the second let's period. Go, let's go. McDonough would like to ride now, try to take something out along, maybe keep him down for the rest of this period. Both big 125 pounders. McDonough was a 133 pounder last year, and he just he just redid his body. He knew he had to go to 125 to get in the lineup. He's had this moment in his heart, and uh, he has a motor on him that won't quit. It doesn't even look like he's cut weight because he never runs out of gas. Riding time, the bottom there of that graphic. If you go over a minute of what's deemed riding time of your opponent, you get an extra point. So if a match ends 2-2, two, two, but the riding time Don't favors, Don't say, McDonough Stop. over a minute, he gets the extra point, he will get the win. Needs another 15 seconds to get that. He'll hang on Don't here. Rain, McDonough will hang Don't on. Rain. And that riding time will be awarded at the end of the match. Wow. That was kind of that a quick a... whistle. Set. Don't move. Let's go. Good call. Set. And riding time is now on the board for McDonough of Iowa. Final 10 seconds here in period number two. It is Matt McDonough on top 2-1, but actually 3-1 by way of riding time. This is the 125 National Championship. As we go to the third period, we quickly check in with Quint Kesnick. We are with Iowa State coach Kevin Jackson. Kevin, down 2-1, but in effect it's 3-1. What, what has to change right now? Well, we gotta get that 50, we gotta get 15 seconds off the riding time clock first, and then we have to score with our own attacks. We needed that point at the end of that period. That was huge. But right now, we just gotta get 15 seconds off. We'll get on our feet, and then we'll have a chance to uh, tie it up with a takedown. So you're gonna cut him after, after the riding time has run off? Well, we'll look to ride him and turn him real quick, but if he gets to his feet, we're going to look to... And what Coach Thanks, Jackson Kevin. was talking about is the riding time coming down under a minute. So effectively, Andrew Long has taken that point that McDonough had off the board. He's doing a nice job of riding, tying up the wrists, keeping them in. This is the 125 National Championship okay. final period. Under 90 seconds to go, one of these men will be a national champion. Only the second time in history two freshmen have met each other for the national championship. The other time, an Iowa State wrestler, Perry Hummel, versus Matt Reese from North Carolina State. This is history, man. Long attempted a cradle and actually kept McDonough Long a lot longer than I thought he would. Great job by Long on top. Matt McDonough now going 3-1 by way of a one-point escape. So Andrew Long in the red needs a two-point takedown to tie this thing up. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. This is where McDonough has won every time he, the middle, uh, they've wrestled this year. But Long is a different wrestler than he was early on. He's got his weight under control. Let's see if he can match McDonough's motor. Well, he has got less than a minute to a national champion. Long's take the hard road to get here, beating Robles and the NCAA champion Escobedo. Advantage uh, McDonough here with no warnings for stalling. He can he can really kind of get conservative here. There's no warning. Not any warning. Got to keep warnings though, and it's a point. Need to win that little battle of controlling the hands and inside tie. Under 10 seconds now to go. Andrew Long has got to go now. Three, two, that'll do it. And the dream comes done. has won it. And a disappointing finish for a very game Andrew Long. A true freshman for Iowa State, but tonight it's Matt McDonough of Iowa who gets the victory, the first individual title.